At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. The $53,000 Cruise and Cash Giveaway is at Gold Town Casino. Fridays from 6 to 9 p.m. win $200 every half hour. Saturday from 6 to 8.30 p.m. get another chance to win $200 every half hour. One lucky cruise winner will be chosen at 9 p.m. Listen up, Gold Town. Football Super Sunday is February 3rd. Join us at the Nugget Event Center. Limited seating is available, so buy your tickets now through February 2nd, $25 per person. Play and dine. Points for food is back. Every 300 points equals $1 at the Calico Cafe and Buffet. So check out their January food specials, all at the Gold Town Casino. Welcome back to News 46's Week in Review. Pahrump Valley Speedway is preparing for the 2013 race season. Drivers took their cars out on the track last Saturday for test and tune. We're having our first test and tune of the season. Uh, letting guys come out a little early this year, try out their cars, the ones that are ready. Uh, so I think a little bit of a head start for the season this year. What does test and tune consist of? What we do, we come out and let the guys start running their cars, run them five laps, let them go back, work on a little bit, come out, let them go ten more, and so on through the day until they can get up 25, 30 laps. Uh, so they can fine tune their car to get it in 100% where they want it. And they tell this way if they need to add weight or change weight or, or add tires, do this, try different air pressures, and it just really helps the drivers out. All different classes uh, for test and tune as well? Yes, we're doing all different classes. This week we're running the modifieds right now, it's coming out. So anybody wants to come on out, they can come out and we're going to do this again on the 26th. There's some uh, rule changes for the next season? There's a few, there's not many, but there is. We've got a couple, of, uh, we've got a new class coming in, so there's going to be a lot of difference this year. <laughs> Those um, modifieds are loud and powerful, exciting races to watch as well. When are they starting? We're starting February 2nd at 1 o'clock. So uh, everybody can come on down, find out more on the web? Oh, you bet. They can come out, have a lot of fun. Go to the website, check us out, see what we're doing, see the new class, get all the rule changes. Uh, just keep up with us, and, and we can all have a good time this year. What's that address? It's PahrumpValleySpeedway.com. And folks, here's Deanna O'Donnell with your entertainment this week. On a night of surprises and laughs, the 70th annual Golden Globe Awards may be most memorable for a moving speech by actress Jodie Foster, who spoke emotionally of love, loyalty, and her career. Accepting the Hollywood Foreign Press Association's Cecil B. DeMille Lifetime Achievement Award, Foster spoke about her relationship with her former partner of 20 years, with whom she has two sons. The crowd was brought to tears and laughter when the 50-year-old Foster spoke about her 47-year career in the business. The winners at the Golden Globes, which were held on Sunday night, were for Best Drama, Argo, Comedy or Musical, Les Miserables, Best Director, Ben Affleck for Argo, Argo Actor in a Comedy or Musical, Hugh Jackman for Les Miserables, Best Actress for Comedy or Musical, Jennifer Lawrence for Silver Linings Playbook. Best Actor in a Drama, Daniel Day-Lewis for Lincoln. Best Actress in a Drama, Jessica Chastain for Zero Dark Thirty. Best Animated Feature Film of the Year, Brave. For more information on the Golden Globes, go to goldenglobes.com. The Academy Award nominations have come in. For Best Picture, nominated is foreign film, Amour. Ben Affleck's creation, Argo. Beast of the Southern Wild. Quentin Tarantino's Dango Unchained, Les Miserables, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Linings Playbook, and Zero Dark Thirty. Best Actor in a Leading Role, Bradley Cooper, Daniel Day-Lewis, Hugh Jackman, Joaquin Phoenix, and Denzel Washington. For Best Actress in a Leading Role, Jessica Chastain, Jennifer Lawrence, Emmanuel Riva, Quavenjane Wallace, and Naomi Watts. For Best Director nominees are for Amour, Michael Haneke, Beast of the Southern Wild, Benny Zietlin, Life of Pi, Ang Lee, Silver Linings Playbook, David O. Russell, and Lincoln, Steven Spielberg. The Oscars will be held on February 24th on ABC. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. That's your entertainment this week. We spoke to Terry Doherty at West Star Ranch Animal Rescue to find out more about how you can adopt a pet or help donate to the animals. Well, we've been established here since 1995 as an animal rescue. We've got about 39 dogs right now and probably about that many cats. Mm -hmm. And they're all ready, fixed and spayed and ready for adoption. All different types of breeds of dogs and cats. Yes, we have all different types, mostly Heinz 57, but uh, they're all very good dogs and cats. 
And they're mostly large animals. We don't have too many small animals, mostly larger animals, but that's what we deal with, older dogs. They're uh, given their shots as well as spayed and neutered. Yes, they are. All animals have their shots and be spayed and microchipped before they leave the ranch. Um, what is the adoption fee? Adoption fees run about $150. Depends on uh, the dog and what has to be done to it. But actually, the dog doesn't cost anything. We're just paying for the shots and the fees and the, the spade and neutering, that kind of stuff. And what about the cats? Cats, same way. Cats, about uh, $25 for a cat. And then tell me about the thrift store. We have a nice thrift store here that supports our animals. It's open uh, every day except Mondays and Tuesdays. We're open 10 to 3. And uh, we have price on Sundays. And uh, we have our $2 bag sales. Very popular here. If people would like to donate to West Star Ranch Animal Rescue, can they do that with uh, with items for the thrift store or monetarily or um, cat and dog food or what? We take money, money donations, uh, cat food, dog food, anything, don't brand, any special brand that's making a difference. Uh, any kind of donations, uh, yard sale items, uh, closeouts, whatever you have, we'll take it all. There you go. And people can put them in the donation bin if, like they say, some have some cat food or cat litter or dog food or ca cat food or any of the items. Or they can come by here too as well? Absolutely. Some days we're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. We have a donation drop-off area right out front of the gate. Mm -hmm. Just drop it off there anytime, 24-7. Mm -hmm. We'll pick it up. And if they'd like to shop here, what time are the thrift store hours? Uh, thrift store is open from 10 to 3, uh, Wednesday through Sunday. And for adoptions? Uh, same time. Same and for more information, how can they get a hold of you? 727-9273 uh, or stop by 780 Mance Road. See Terry or Terry. Well, either on TV, online, or on the radio, it's hard to miss those deals for low, low prices on carpet cleaning. But how many of them are too low to be true? In today's Angie's List report, we got the dirt on how to get your carpets professionally cleaned without putting a huge stain on your budget. There's no doubt that Wendy Zeller loves her dog, but what she doesn't love are the tracks her dog Joey's behind. So when she saw an online professional carpet cleaning deal, she didn't think twice about buying it. Good price. I needed the bedrooms done, and it was for four rooms. So I just bought it. It was exactly the deal Wendy needed. That is until the cleaner showed up at her door. It was awful. It was awful. Um, you know, he had told me that because my carpets were so dirty they needed to do a deep cleaning and that would be extra and I said well you know I questioned whether that was included in the cleaning I said normally I thought a cleaning was a deep cleaning and he said no they'd have to do that and that would be extra and I, I just said well I think you know just go ahead and do a regular cleaning to avoid those added extras consumer experts recommend homeowners insist on a written detailed estimate on what the company will do for the advertised price and never be shy about sharing your own family's details once you find your carpet cleaner it's important to share details about your lifestyle with them do you have pets do you have kids do you have special areas that need treatment because there's been spills the more information you give them the more prepared they can come to do the actual project in case they need special cleaners for some difficult spots Chris Stone has been cleaning carpets professionally for over seven years. He suggests homeowners do a little work to save a little dough. You want to try to move as much as possible um, that the areas that you want cleaned. Um, any couches or sofas, little magazines, everything that you can do to help it move faster when they come to clean your carpets. The, the time that we save from you moving those things, we actually pass those savings on to you after the end of the job. So if a job is supposed to take about two hours and say it only took an hour and a half because of the homeowner's help of having things already prearranged, that extra savings of time, we actually just give those savings right back to you. As always, it's important to do your homework on a company you're thinking about hiring. There are online review sites you can check to see what other people, what experiences that they've had. And also, a good company will return to clean any spots that reappear within a short amount of time. This is Ian B. Clark for News 46. The U.S. Day Commodities Distribution will be held Saturday morning at New Hope Fellowship from 9 until 11 a.m. Please provide valid driver's license or identification card as well as a rent or utility bill. And Inspiration Senior Living will be holding a hard hat event on Saturday morning from 11.30 to 1.30 p.m. at their construction site located off Prompt Valley Boulevard and Java Street. For more information, call 751-2300. Saturday, local gun owners are planning to recognize National Gun Appreciation Day at the corner of Highway 160 and Highway 372. The event will be held from 1.30 until 3.30 p.m. And don't forget that the Master Gardeners will be holding a free pruning workshop Saturday beginning at 9 a.m. Please, please bring gloves and shears. The workshop will be held at the corner of Dandelion and Calvada 
at the University of Nevada Cooperative Extension. An Alzheimer's seminar will be held Saturday at 3 p.m. at the Perup Community Church on Wilson Street. This informative event is free and open to the public. And the Miss Senior Golden Years Victorian Tea will be held on Sunday, January 27th at 1 p.m. For more information or to attend, call 537-7422. A college scholarship donation spaghetti dinner will be held Sunday afternoon from 3 to 6 p.m. at the Moose Lodge, located at 1100 2nd Street next to the library. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. We hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. We'll see you again here on Monday. I'm Deanna O'Dell. And I'm Jason Koblenz.